Remember the missing kid poster? That wasn't real, so this isn't real. Tasty, tasty, beautiful fear. Come on, ready? No! No! Oh, thank fuck. Where, where's Eddie? you, Billy? I'm not real enough for you. Holy shit. It wasn't real enough for Georgie. <laughs> okay. A lot of the comments have said things along the lines of show how it applies, and I thought that that's kind of what I've been doing. And with my 4,000 hours video, I've actually changed what I was going to do with it, and I'm going to do something that I think will be really informative for people about my account. Um, <clears throat> but in specific, I'm going to give you guys a couple small tricks. It's going to be a short video. Um, hopefully we get a higher view count because of it, right? But the, we're going to essentially show you just a couple small tricks. And one of those small tricks is uh, how the ratio applies. So essentially what I've been doing on my account is on all of these characters, I've been basically doing, um, I can still get gold. I can basically been doing... Like, I gotta go do their guardians and their guardians to send him stones. But instead of going and doing their guardians, because it's not really the leap stones that he's fully short on, um, the reason I'm not tapping, and this would be like your second tip, would be a ratio thing, so a financial aspect. So I knew that this piece was gonna pity because I got so many one taps elsewhere, and I know that this piece is gonna pity, right? So I honed this one to, I think, about 40%, 30% before I realized it was going to start pitying. So if you think about it, I'll save 35% of it by making sure I never tap unless I have uh, the materials that come from Cube. So I have two more tickets. <clears throat> He's going to make it because I got 50k gold. I'm pretty sure I have enough just to pity these if I want to. Um, but the goal here, because I know that I'm going to pity, right? This is what I do with all of my characters. Because I knew these pieces were going to pity is I stop tapping them and I tap other pieces and I went and I tapped other pieces because I knew this was going to pity and that gave me time to farm more of the honing material since I know for a fact this is going to pity it gave me time to get more um, of these blessings and protections and don't worry we're going to talk about a little bit more because I don't know if this is one of the characters but so these it allowed me to do more cubes to farm more of those I didn't buy any of them just to get more of them <clears throat> granted I'm only got two more tickets, so I do have, like, I could go excavate, try to get them that way. Um, I'm not going to. There's a really good chance I'm just going to drive the pity because I think I have enough gold to do it. So I'm going to eat the hit on this one and then just sell some gems or some shit, right? Um, because this one, with those two tickets, I should be able to get this within, you know, four to ten more taps, something like that. Not that bad. And then it's this one that I might come up short, but I have plenty of days left. I still have a few raids left gold-wise. And what I wanted to show you ratio-wise is instead of getting better and better gems on my characters these last couple of weeks, I've been keeping them at the 7s and 8s, and if that's not enough for Algasha for him, then that's going to be really unfortunate. But I think because he's a support, I have a really good chance at getting in. Um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I even have a pretty decent uh, bracelet, so we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, so I'm not leveling up their gems per se. I am leveling up 
I'm selling the gems, and I know that you're going to be like, oh, he undersold mad of those, and this isn't even all of them. Like, other characters have them sold, too. I just started selling them here because I figured I was going to show it. So that right there is 40k gold um, in gems that I made in one, two, one. I mean, that's not bad. Do you know what I mean? That was, like, a week ago now, but that was one, two, three in, like, a day. Do you know what I'm saying? So if I really want to, and I think it was because I upgraded gems. Like, literally, I upgraded uh, two of her gems, or it may wasn't it his, actually? I actually think it was his gems, or maybe it was hers. I think it was hers. Yeah, I think it was hers to make up for the fact that she is kind of short cooldown. And if I'm not full spec, this is actually bad. Like, this is the thing. Like, my bar does need to be reworked, too. So, um, that's why instead of trying to go for two characters, I'm just going to get the paladin up. And then I have no idea how I'm going to play this next. I'll be honest with you. But again, we're going to make this short video. Show sure. that's it though those are your tips like the honing tip is definitely super important like basically what it means is like i would come in here and then i would like see how this is at 48 percent. i know that that's gonna pity like i'm almost positive and even if it doesn't pity it's still worth it to try to use these so i'm not tapping that i'm gonna go tap this piece or this piece and save obviously one so you can special honing right let's see if we get lucky Yeah, so you go and you tap other pieces is basically what I'm trying to tell you, if that makes sense, because you want to get the one tap, and if you figure out, <clears throat> usually if you get to like, fuck, 40%, you're going to pity this, I I'm going to bet money that this will pity, so you just start using the fucking, the graces and the materials, and that applies to all eye levels, every stage of the game, that's how I've always played it, um, the game tells you which ones it's going to pity on you, like you, you're just not reading the signs, everybody gets one taps, Okay, it's about making your pities cost less. And that's the lesson, essentially. Make your pities cost less. Because even if you figure out halfway 50%, right? Even if I'm at 50% and now I start using all materials for that piece because I know it's going to pity, then I'm still saving at least 25% of the materials. So no matter what, it's not. All right? So I don't want to just, whatever. Somebody can do more math. Than I'm not, no, what was it? Uh, gems. Yeah, so I gave her two level eights. Otherwise, I would have had a lot more sevens to sell. Uh, but I don't need them. I don't need them. He's going to make it. I already know. My math was like spot on. My math was... I wanted to talk about one more thing with ratios. Actually, because that's not true. So let me cover one more thing, even though I just swapped to him. I don't know why I swapped to him. But yeah, he... Oh, yeah, we'll swap this. <clears throat> Flash this one more time. So see, he's going to hit there. He's going to hit there. I have at least 50 more stones just from the cubes. Um, well, actually more because of the little cubes, too. So we'll say 75-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Um, enough to hit this guaranteed unbound mats, and then this is where it we're probably gonna end up buying it with gold. Like we're just probably gonna end up blowing gold for it. But look, even if I come up short, I want to show you guys how all of you because I have so many characters that I can refarm gems back really quickly. If I really wanted to, not saying I'm going to, not saying I'm going to. This is what I'm talking about with ratio though, and knowing your account and understanding where your assets are and where your values parked and basically like how to use whatever you have accessible to you resource wise whether it be by playing content and doing content or it be just things parked on your account if you're an investor you understand accessible resources it's nice when the market goes up to be able to just deposit large chunks of fucking shit um that you bought at a lower price to have accessible gold right um the same principle applies if i really wanted to like let's say i really do come up short let's say i don't get uh i don't hit it let's say i don't hit what my mark with the paladin and I fall short before the release. I can always come over to a character that I'm not super caring about, that I don't really mind losing some time on, and I can take all of this, these gems and sell all of these gems. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80,000 gold. You don't think I can get the paladin to that mark without it with 80,000 gold? I can't. Ratios. Learn how to use your resources to your advantage. Learn how to use what you have. Okay, and that's just him. Like, he's got the worst gems. And then in addition, if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to hit this threshold, because, like, what if we were getting a con match, right? What if there was something that could really return the value? And this is something to keep in mind for when we get close to 1,600. All right, you guys are going to watch me do some crazy shit again on my account. You guys just don't get it yet. You don't get it yet. You're not mad yet. You're not scrambled enough. i got to break your brain a little bit. i got to break your thought process and the way that you look at the world first. Um, I, I love the intro thing today. I might, I might still put the outro, but it's going to be like a 20-minute section instead. Okay, so like take her, right? <clears throat> Level 8, 30, 60, 90. Um, 
we'll just say 100, 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, uh, 180,000 gold. So I can park this character, backseat her for a little bit, just let her keep farming her Chaos Dungeon, who gives a fuck about the raid, right? I could even swap another character in for the raid if I really want to, since, mo mo like, uh, you don't even get it. Like, I could take a gold hit and just, like, swap her in, or swap any of these other characters into being a gold earner and still get a decent chunk of my gold from raids. But we won't even, we won't get into that. <clears throat> we won't get into that, but that's another 180k. So if I really wanted to right now, which... <clears throat> I'm not going to because like I said in my other video it's a waste one character not a waste a lot of your characters to 1580 right now kind of a waste 1580 by a con great idea right now no 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 waste of time so I'm not going to push her I'm going to get more time to farm more time to get bound materials and stuff like that but if I really wanted to I could sell her gems his gems his gems and his gems and I could get both of these characters there easily and then because of my accountability and accessible resources the amount of gems that I can produce on a week-to-week -week basis or just doing all of their cube tickets I can literally refarm their gems fast. Bang, 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 bang. Probably, I don't even know. I could, I've never really done the math, but I'll bet you I can get anywhere from like three to like 10 level sevens in a week if I play diligently. And I only focus on chaos dungeons and shit. <clears throat> and for the record, I did do their chaos dungeons to a degree. Um, and I'm definitely doing theirs. Because the reds alone are worth it. I haven't been doing the Caligulses. After doing that video and realizing that the gems are where they're at, I'm like, I'm just going to do Chaos Dungeon straight up. But yeah, anyways, that's the uh, end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope I evolved your mentalities. I hope I didn't speak too quiet for you. I hope that everything came through relatively clear. I fucked with the audio for endless amounts of time. Um, and I hope I fixed it. Doing all these takes, I gotta be honest with you, <clears throat> I see why people stay hydrated when they stream, because, like, all you're doing is talking. <laughs> <clears throat> which I thought would be oh god <clears throat> bye I'll catch you guys later On the way, way, I want my revenge. Welcome to the payday. Hungry for destruction, crazy for the cray cray. Better clear the exits, make a way to vacate. Ready to raise your right, yeah. I wanna raise the silence, yeah. Yeah, for the sake of violence, we've been asylum, yeah. Yeah, they wanna make the fire, break in the cage of silence, yeah. Yeah, they wanna make them blind, speak them, speak the fire, yeah. Time to write a new code, let's let the rules go. Show them what they name a public enemy, oh no. Yeah, they say we ruthless, we savage. Yeah, there's a method to the madness. They say we psycho the baddest. Uh huh. There's a method to the madness. 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 Yeah, method to the madness. Savage. Yeah, but there's a method to the madness. We gon' do it our way. Never needed the kudos. Kill them with the chaos. Only way that we do know. Lawless and ruthless. That's a dynamic duo. That we get the job done while you running your food home.